Started this week off strong with an upper body volume day, still working that incline barbell bench, 245 pounds by five reps on the top end set, followed by 220 and a half pounds for four sets of five across to really build that foundation of volume. Getting a lot of incline work in, and it's definitely carrying over to all of my pressing strength. The incline bench was definitely a lagging exercise for me, and there was a lot of room for improvement. I've been running it for quite a while now and continuing to see progress. Went from there into five sets on the single arm cable row. Really like mixing this in here and there. I don't make a lot of progress on it overall, uh, so you don't see it mixed in as frequently, but it's definitely an exercise that I like to rotate in on the odd occasion if, for example, I'm not feeling a traditional dumbbell Row run from there into Arnold Presses with the 35s for three sets of 12. This was much less overwhelming than some of the higher rep weeks previously. Uh, doing sets of 15 to 20 of these absolutely trashed the shoulders. Sets of 8 to 12 is definitely a little bit more manageable. Then went into here, four sets of 8 across on the weighted dips. Um, this is a great primary tricep exercise to incorporate. I like putting it into the programming. I do not like putting it into this section of the programming and likely it will become a primary lift in the near future because I, I feel like I'm getting strong enough that it should be something where I prioritize lifting maximal weights on. Burned out the triceps with two sets on the suspension extensions. Got 25 reps on the first set and barely got 12 on the second. Nice little body weight calisthenic style exercise to really finish off that upper body day. Then we come into Thursday. You'll notice I've attached all of these workouts into one week. No more choppy, short one or two minute videos. You'll get the whole week all at once. So for this lower body volume day, we started with the SSB squat. Still working those four sets of six running a weekly linear progression, 267 and a half pounds really starting to build up some respectable strength on this bad boy. Pretty soon I'll be doing volume work with three plates. I can feel it. Getting in the groove on these. As soon as I finish those off, went into three sets of 20 on the bell squat. Good morning. Up to 120 pounds this week. Still feeling quite light, but again, building out a new exercise, feeling it out. I'm definitely getting a little bit of doms after this, so it is relatively stressful in the body, but it doesn't feel all that taxing, but that's okay once in a while. Also threw in some belt squat high marches again. Didn't record them because they're super boring. Then we come to the failure of the week. Started this weekend off strong with what was supposed to be a big top end set on the neutral grip Swiss bar bench press. I was going for 274 for a top end set of four. And I'm sad to say, well... I think you'll just have to watch. There goes rep one, clean. Rep two, clean. Rep three, clean and what the heck? The bar literally slipped position on my thumb and it just came crashing down. It was pretty stupid actually. I really have never had that happen before. Uh, don't worry, I didn't die. Uh, the pins are always set up at the perfect height where I have to awkwardly check my pride and squirm out, but not so much that I'm actually pinned. Um, but I was very disappointed in that because I felt I had adequate strength to hit the fourth rep. But like I said, I've never had that happen. My thumb just kind of twisted weird or gave out. I'm not even entirely sure. And boom, down came the bar. Backed it off with four sets. So uh, for four across with 246 and a half, uh, and then went into the three-point landmine row here with 75 pounds for four sets of 10. Went into some wide grip pulldowns afterwards, working that mid, back, and lats. And then continued on with a close grip earthquake bar. Managed to hit a top end set with 100 pounds today. I got the fractionals out just so that I could clear the 100-pound milestone. I know it seems kind of silly to use fractionals on the earthquake bar, but I wanted to break through the 100-pound barrier. Um, each set, I basically went up 10 pounds. So I did 69 pounds on the first set, 79 on the second, 89 on the third, and then jumped 11 pounds to hit that 100 on the fourth set. A lot of volume. Triceps were absolutely trashed. Uh, and then from there, went into a straight bar, barbell curl. With 70, 70 pounds? Was it 70? 75 pounds. Uh, I think it was... 
70, 70 pounds for sets of 12. So definitely got a little bit of solid bicep work in there. But I, like I said, I, I'm still a little bit disappointed about that top end set on the Swiss bar because I put so much work into these weeks aiming to get these progressions. Uh, and when everything's feeling right, it's very devastating when you miss something for what appears to be something completely outside of your control. Um, when you had bad sleep, when you had poor eating, when, you know, whatever other factors that you could have managed a little bit better, it's frustrating, but you know who's to blame with something like this. It's like, what the heck? Um, anyways, from there, moved into lower body uh, for the week. Had a big squat, 405 and a half for a set of four. Surprisingly, this didn't feel all too bad. The 405 for four felt pretty freaking good. Um, the... Reps were a little slow, but I felt confident the whole way through. But it was so fatiguing that when I back off here into the 365, you can see that my form was actually worse on the 365, or at least in my opinion it was, uh, than it was on the four, 405 and a half. I struggled to maintain quality form all the way through, and the speed of my squats was kind of pathetic. Um, which was interesting because it is a 10% back off. Usually I don't have that much fatigue from the primary set that I can't keep the quality of my sets together uh, over all of the volume, but hey, it happens. And here I come starting with a cringy pull on the deadlift. This was just a sad weekend. Look at this form is horrific. It's not a good day at all. Get through the second rep, get through the third. Oh my goodness, this is sad to watch. What the heck am I doing? You win some, you lose some. This was definitely, definitely not my week. Went for the fourth rep and zero. Not today, folks. So you win some and you lose some, but sometimes what you perceive to be a loss was actually a win. So, as you probably noticed on that ugly ass attempt at 460 for a set of four, couldn't pull the fourth rep. But what ended up happening was it turned out that 460 for a triple was an all time three rep max. So, I immediately was a little bit frustrated because I assumed that I, you know, I'd, I'd failed with the attempt, but the failed attempt was still a progression overall so it wasn't what I aimed for but it was still something that was a marker of my increased physical capacity which is really all I show up for so kind of a kind of weird feeling right now because I was so I don't want to say distraught but I was so frustrated with myself for not being able to pull that top end set only to find out that it was still progressive and that's encouraging so I believe that is because if I recall correctly my last training block through, I actually missed, the only deadlift set I, I missed that training block was my top end set of deadlifts on triple day. So because of that, there was quite a big gap in terms of what I had previously pulled for a triple, which meant that this worked out to a 23 pound PR. So we'll take it. Progress is progress, no matter how slow.